Hey guys, this is Steel Kid Gaming here, back with another scripting tutorial. And today I'm going to be teaching you about colon get descendants. Now, colon get descendants is very similar to colon get children. They both print out tables of the children, of course, of the parenting parts, or in this case, for this example, the model. So for example, colon get children would print out part A, part B, part C, part D, just like that. Now, there, you're probably wondering why colon get descendants is so useful. And the reason for that is, let's say inside um, a part, and in this example, let's say part A and part C right here, have something in it, and in this case, a point light, all right? Now, with colon get children, um, the table would only get part A, part B, part C, and part D. And it's probably going to get really annoying when you actually have to add an if statement, you know, or whatever, and to check if there's a point light, and then sort of edit the point light, or whatever you want to do with it. Well, with colon get descendants, you can actually just skip all of that. Because instead of just um, printing part A, part B, part C, and part D, colon get descendants would actually open up everything inside the children, and pretty much the children inside it, and then um, build a table instead of um, calling get children, like closing it all up and just doing the children. Hence, get children. So get descendants instead opens up the any uh, children that have, well, children, and um, it goes from there. So instead of it being part A, part B, part C, part D, it would do part A, point light, part B, part C, point light, part D. And to show you what I mean, I just made a quick script right here. Oop, my bad, there we go. So basically, what I did here, of course, you don't have to copy this down, this is just um, for tutorial purposes, but all I did was just um, build a table using colon get descendants. So in this case, I'm doing game dot game dot workspace dot model, and then colon get descendants, which basically means open up everything, and then of course make a table with, oh, make a table with all these six items. So yeah. And then, of course, inside here, for IV and Paris test do, blah, blah, blah. This is basically just saying, print out the table in order. So, if the script runs correctly, it should print part A, point light, part B, part C, point light, part D. And, of course, if we run the game... Oh my, what has going on over there? My bad. Yeah, just a little uh, quick reminder for you that... Whenever you are inserting um, items or um, parts or anything inside something, you might want to just select all of them, take them out, and put them in again, just so they're all alphabet alphabeticalized, just so the system is easier. And that's much better. <laughs> now, of course, if you can see right here, it says part A, point light, part B, part C, point light, part D. And if we go inside here and open up everything right here, it's in the exact same order as um, what it is in the model. Of course, part A, part A, point light, point light, part B, and part C. Those there, point light, and part D. Now, of course, if we instead did get children, like that, if we run the game, you can see that it only prints just the parts, or in other words, the children. It doesn't uh, count the point lights inside here because it's just get children. It doesn't open up anything and sees what's inside. No, it just kind of breezes over and just kind of la di does around. <laughs> so yeah, um, I know this tutorial was very short. I hope I was very straightforward or as straightforward as I could be. And yeah, I hope this helps you in some way. If you have any questions, once again, let me um, know down below. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. But yeah, other than that, um, I hope this tutorial helped you in some way. Have fun scripting, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!